So the plan today is get this all finished up to height. That's it. Face work is up. Maybe put a tower up and then the trestles but they're two planks wide so we can fit the tower in for the high bit. Right, while the news is on, we've been here a while, probably been here about half an hour, yeah. 8 4 we've got here just after half past about 7. So, we've got the board set up, got the bricks loaded out, that's probably enough to finish now, up to the three quarters, three and a bit. I was just getting a mix in, I'm going to uncover, and we'll crack on. So the plan today is, get this all finished, up to height, get it to our lintel level and rack back, and then we're going to have to move around with the scaffold, probably put it through the door so we can cut the cavity out with, this, with the, uh, the saw and fix the um, starter pack for the pikes. Um, no need for the cavity to be done down there because that's where the doors are, where the doors fit. Well, I don't think that's what the cavity needs doing there. Oh, we'll have to see what this uh, building inspector wants. I don't see the point of cutting the cavity out where there's no wall. But um, he's had some funny ideas on this job. Um, so that's it, I'm going to get all uncovered. And by that time that mix should be nearly ready. And we can crack on.
excuse the wind. That's it. Face work is up. Three above lintel. And you can see we've left down for lintels to go in. So we're going to... Uh, Atlas has already started on the block. Going to go for break now. Just after half nine. Not doing so bad. So we're going to get the block up, which is 20 odd block. Get this all leveled up, get the wall plate on. Then we can move the trestles across. Probably across and through the door. So I can get up there safely to get this cavity cut out. Um, yeah. So we're going to put two big gashes in the side of the house. So the because we've been asked to. Not everyone agrees with it. I don't really agree with that, but we're doing as we're told. It's been specifically asked for on the phone by the, the, the uh, building inspector. So let's get off to break now. It's been a while, bad break. That's a uh, just wants a bit of fettling. But um, Alex is getting on with the block work. And as I say, it's a small job, but very old. Still a lot of cuts to do, so this is all full block to here, up to where that tie wire is, the bottom one. And then because of the way the um, the height is, it's 250, so we can't do a block and a split like a sliver. We've got to do, got to reduce it into two equals equalish. So one's going to be 95, and the other one's going to be 135. So 95 and 135 on top for the lintel seating. And then same here. End, but I've also got 140 pieces to go across there to bring it back into courses because the lintels are a funny, funny height. So that those cuts to be done, these cuts to be done, those two cuts to be done, and then we've got a split course on top here, which is um, it's just a block straight down the middle, which is lucky. That's that half as many cuts to do, and that'll bring us back into gauge. And then we've got a course block on top of that, the 4 3 wall plate on top of that. And then once that's all done, we can drop this and we can move over and we can start doing the cutting out on the house which will leave us the two pikes to do and hopefully we'll get on, get 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 stuck into one this afternoon get the bulk of it done which will leave us one to do either tomorrow or Sunday so um, and we've also, Customs got to go and get the wall plate some cement Alex? Yep. A couple of cement Maybe two it probably probably three yeah and a starter pack to put up here because the building inspectors requested starter packs doesn't like our uh, screw size so it's, the uh, starter packs going up there and there there should be two should be enough because it's not it's only about a meter up and then cavity out and then we have to do something with this we're probably going to end up using our tower because it's a bit higher because it, it's going to end up quite high this pike so, so we're going to have the tower and, and the trestles here we're going to have everything here so eight, 14 planks 8 pieces of tower and 4 trestles we're going to have to empty the van to take everything home again yeah, we're going to have to do a bit of a hybrid scaffold here maybe put a tower up and then the trestles but uh, 2 planks wide so we can fit the tower in for the hybrid uh, we'll, we'll manage, we always do so while Alex is doing this here, I'll go down there and get all these cuts done. It took us ages to get to use this, and I've used it a lot. Check the battery. Still on three bars after all the cuts we've done. The, uh, it's the charger and the spare battery, which is on. I've got full battery as well. So we're fine. So I'm gonna get over there and get these cuts done. There we go, there's all our cuts marked out. There's two odd sized pieces for over my front lintel because it's not in the it's not a normal size. We've got these 235s and a 95. That's going to be the bottom piece, then the top piece for underneath the lintels. We've already got a 95 down there that just needs trimming. And that's the other 95. And we've got one three fives, and then we need eight of the blocks split down the middle. So that's two cuts. Gives us eight pieces. So it's only actually one, two, three, four cuts, and we end up with two 
four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen pieces. Just off four passes with the saw. So, so much quicker than cut one, mark one, cut one, mark one. Just get them set up, just run through more. And I'll, um, in fact, put the time on for this, just see how long it takes, and I'll film it properly. Two minutes, one second to do all those cuts in that barrel. Excellent. Let's get into the job.
lunch over. Alex is just getting the last bit of block work done. He's on the cuts now. And that is, um, but the beds are massive, mate. Spin the blocks round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, that's our wall plate height, and the wall plates there ready to go on. So as soon as that's on, we can strip this. And we can set it up through the doorway. Two trestles outside, two trestles this side, and then um, we can get this cutting done. Or I'll get that cutting done while Alex has a tidy up. And there's a few little bits to do, a bit of pointing and fettling up. And so let's get you up here for the somewhere for the wall plate. Can you go can you go your way? Okay. And um, I suppose a little bit, yeah. Well, that's already not uh, flush with the block, so. Yeah. 1735. Mine's pretty flush, though. All we have to do is run the top in it. Maybe one more. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Seventeen twenty-eight. 
two mil. I'm just gonna have to keep trying. There you go. Wall plates in. There you go. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do the classic uh, content content creator. Should do that slow mo. And then, uh, and then you got to finish off with a. Oh yeah. Boom. 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 Walkie fist bump. Boom. But there we go. The uh, wall plate's on. So now we've got to make some holes to get these lintels in. But the big side of the extension is finished. Yes. So progress. That gives us a day and whatever we've got left today to get the lintels in and the pikes in. So, fingers crossed. Forgot to mention, we've got to strip the scaffold now, haven't we? Yeah, move it over four foot. So, so it's a, we're going to have to move it over four foot, but set it up through the door so I can get the cuts done safely with the machine. Yeah. And then we're going to have to move it again to build it. Although, um, it's a, I, I want to try and get the lintel in today, so get the lintel in and get just get across the lintel on one side and then hopefully let's see just lean over i'll hold your hand while you uh yeah but we need to bring the scaffold in tomorrow probably six pieces not eight yeah the insulation pipe took our level plastic knocked the level over <laughs> It's a lot bigger when the scaffold out of the way. Yeah. It's really great nice. room this. Toilet, utility, and then you've still got the access through the, do the doors end to end because it's built up to the boundary. Anyway, that's up now. I hope it's going to be high enough. I might just have to go on the hop to get the top bit. And um, I've got to cut the cut the hole, pocket out for the lintel, so I'm going to have to go three, 360 wide for three courses and then take the 150 cavity up from there, which um, Dave the customer isn't very happy about, but um, instead of it just being a vertical lamp, yeah, it has to be the cavity, which is two big six inch wide gashes up the wall. Yeah, it's not so bad because it's just like a pocket, so it's bonded underneath, it's bonded above, whereas normally it goes from the DPC all the way up, doesn't it? Mm. And it's usually on the corner as well, so it, it like weakens the structure. But um, we've got um, we're gonna have start to pack either side, so we'll put put him in every three and every block again instead of the twist yeah which is stronger mm. we, we, we have our opinions but they're wrong today he said it, he wants ones that, that can flex and move I thought the idea of putting ties would stop the thing yeah. moving to tie it in like it's like defeating the object isn't it didn't you say slip ties mention slip ties yeah which is for slip ties which is for expensive joints and walls yeah so they can flex and during movement over seven metres long freaking hell but anyway what do we know Right, I'm going to get the uh, the big saw up here, and Alex is going to start on the ex on the outside, just snagging and tidying up, cleaning the boards down.
Does it help? So that's your cavity cut? Yep. Oh, I like that. It's like a reverse Tetris. Oh, I've missed a bit there. Is this the uh for the lint for you? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, nice job, you got that done quick. Hey? You got that done quick, nice job. That's the that 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 That's the cavity chain. The cavity now just takes the pocket out of the lint because you're going in. You don't need to go too close to it, but that's a bit too close. The lint's too big. I don't think you know where he's saying there. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's your cavity. There's your lintel, so it'll be the same on the other side as well. But uh, today's focus is this: try and get getting this lintel set up, and then maybe while I'm tidying up, we can get a few bricks and bricks running over the top. Maybe we'll see. Just one last me to clean up.
go 20 past 4 I can't describe how awkward this is so fiddly but lintel's in it's bust into the wall as you can see it goes in there Got our cavity tray with upstands reek vents blah 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 you say reek vents? reek vents yes it's in Germany yeah and we've got our starter pack up minus one Oh no, we pinched out the other pack, didn't we? So we need two for the other pack. Yeah. Uh, there's all the silly house clips. So it needs a bit of insulation here to level it up, and then the tray over the top. And then it's straight block work from there. We're going to bring the tower up from home, which is going to be wider than this. Probably about an extra plank wider. So we'll be able to reach that end, and we'll be able to get higher. So we'll be able to get up, probably up here. How many towers are we bringing? Three. Two for the height and one like a handrail. Yeah, I was going to say we don't need all of them, do we? No, just six. Six in all the planks. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll actually just join in that side. I've got the block work over, it's all tied in. And. Oh, I've got to cover the lintel. Over there. All things considered, all the fiddling about we've had to do, that wasn't too bad. Got all that part up, that side is finished, wall plates installed. Dad's got all the cavity cut out, lintels in, and a little bit built over. So, and we're set up there now, more or less. So um, when we're back here, whether it's tomorrow or Sunday, depending on the weather, um, I'll get him loaded out. I'll do the snagging and get his cuts and all that. And then we'll do the same here. So, well, seems we, for, well, I forgot to film an outro again, so, from from the office. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been a with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next one.